We'll show you. Want to film a video? Oh, it's going to knock it's over. Okay. okay, ready? Let's start now. Hi, welcome back to our channel. We thought we'd sit down today and tell the story of how our house came about, how we chose to purchase this house, um, and what it was like before we bought it. Um, so let's see, about three years ago, I guess, we um, purchased, no, it might have been four years. So four years ago, we purchased some land uh, with our family and so we got about 47 acres uh, tract of land and so we bought that land off of a lady um, that we had kind of known, Acacia had known uh, growing up and so um, we bought the land off of her and we just kind of fell in love with this piece of land and her family just, you know, we do, we hunt, we do things on it. Um, so we built a cabin. Yeah, we built a cabin on it. And uh, no, so we fell in love with the area. It's, it's where we both grew up. Um, so then, you know, moving on down to maybe three years ago, um, we realized that joining our tract of land, uh, there was another lot. It was about 11 acres at the time. Um, and so on the 11 acres, there was a house on the front section toward the road. Are you laughing at Eli? Yeah, he's right on camera here being really funny. So, so anyways, there was a house on, on this lot and uh, we just started talking about it and really liked the idea of being on our family's land and uh, Elijah having the, the option of being on you know such a large place and being able to get out and uh, play in the creek and you know roam in the woods and we can do all the things, you know, we can run four wheelers or whatever. So yeah, four wheelers. Uh, so we like that idea. It came time to negotiate and purchase. We already had a rapport with her, so we knew her and we um, were able to work with her to buy the house. It took a while. It took a long while. We wanted to purchase for three years. Um, it took calls with no callbacks. So here's the deal. She didn't live here. She lived like 45 minutes away from here and she hadn't lived on the property in 20 years or so it was just a house full of her things she really liked antiques and she collected things and she did lots of yard Our sales, sales right, and it was also her family home as she grew up her uncle owned it so it was hard for her to detach from it but she knew it was time to move on um, and sell the property downsize a little bit as she's getting older and so eventually we agreed and settled and she sold it to us. It wasn't initially for sale. So when we started three no, years ago, she, she was not putting it up for sale. Um, hey, we so just fun. saw it and we wanted to take advantage of maybe um, getting it before it came on the market. She was older and we figured that at some point she would want to sell. And so we didn't want it going up because uh, it's right on the road and it's it's convenient, right? So it's a good um, real estate. And we've had several people ask to buy it since we even bought it. They thought maybe we were flipping it or yeah. uh, maybe it was, we were clearing it out to sell. Yeah, we've had and three so, people, just uh, two of them just pull in the driveway and yeah. ask to buy and it. Several or... outside of that even just mm -hmm. asked to buy it. So um, we, we got really, really fortunate on the timing mm -hmm. aspect of that one. So... So we worked with her for months on, um, we set up like a contract agreement that she would sell us the property. Intent to sell basically. Yeah, an intent to sell yeah. for such and such amount of money um, and that she had three months to get her things off of the property. And then of course, at, of course we know her so we offered to help her um, move everything off the property and that took a while too so it took her a little bit to open up and let us help and then it took some time to just go through all the things and get her a new building on her house property right now and just get everything cleared out so that was around like October timeline but we still hadn't closed we didn't own the place we were helping her with it but we still didn't own it. We were just under an, an intent to sell document. And so that's when we just, around, what was it, October the 10th or something? Yeah. 9th or 10th. We nailed it down into a contract and we said, we need to know for sure you're selling this to us for this price and 
all of that. And so on that day we signed contracts, she signed contracts and everybody said, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> it's real it's because we've worked on it for three years. Yeah. yeah. You and, all think so too? Mm-hmm. Everybody was kind of starting to just send us other properties and like we had yeah. sold our house. Right. We sold our house yeah, that's in July. Crazy <clears throat> yeah. You want no. to tell about it? Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, so yeah, it was a bit of a risk, um, which seems to always happen with us, but um, we decided to go all in. We signed the intent agreement with her, and so you know, we decided okay, we're gonna at least list our property, our current property, because it's probably gonna take some time to sell. Well, we thought like maybe six yeah, months, yeah, we had to no sell clue. Our house we just thought, we you know, it's probably not a quick process. Um, but luckily, so right now with everything the way it is, um, the housing market is crazy. So mortgage rates are like all time Yeah, all those. I mean, it's really good for both, right? Because houses are selling at what they're listed for. Um, they're selling very quickly. But then on the buyer's end, the interest rates are so low right now at the banks. So it's really a crazy time in the housing market. Um, so we listed our property and. Um, I think that was a Friday we listed it. We decided to list ourselves um, through different avenues. We were going to list it on some of the different housing sites, um, Facebook Marketplace, of course, and just you know word of mouth, things like that, um, to avoid the realtor fee. Um, we need but, all that money. Yeah, we were trying to save as much as we could. We so we listed it on a Friday. Um, we had tons of, tons of interest automatically from Facebook. And so... Um, we set up all kinds of viewings, things for that following week. Um, we had two viewings on Monday set. So Monday afternoon came, and um, the first couple comes. They view the house. They're ready to make an offer for full price, basically. Um, and then the second couple comes, and same thing. Uh, so it kind of got into like a little bit of a bidding war. Um, if you decide to do a for sale by owner. Don't be like us. So we thought yeah. we would stick it on Facebook Marketplace. We probably wouldn't get much interest. Don't go in with that. Go in with confidence <laughs> and just be ready with a plan in case lots of people come wanting your house. Because we ended up at the end of everything with like three people wanting it in right. one day. And we could have really benefited if we had said, okay, we're showing it all week. Yeah. Um, we're taking bids. All week, put in your very best offer. The cutoff is Saturday at 8 o'clock that night, and we will tell you whose bid was the best on Sunday or something like that. Because yeah. this kind of mimics what like a real estate office would do. Yeah. But anyway, anything to be more prepared than us. And right. we're like, Whoa. well, we didn't know, right? I mean, we yeah. didn't know the process. No. And um, we didn't. It's not know like we're selling buy. houses all day, right? So. No. It was kind of new to us. We just knew we didn't want the realtor fees. Yeah. And so we went into it, but I would say know your uh, property value, know what it's worth, know what the market's bringing in your area. And um, yeah, I, I would say definitely list it yourself. Try it because in yeah. the end you save, you know, five, 10%, whatever the realtor percentage which is, is now, which is crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, so it's we so saved that, but so we, we essentially went into contract Tuesday, right? So we listed Friday and that following Tuesday we were already, we had our house sold basically. Um, you know, and so it was really wild. at that point we're screaming, <laughs> like, let's yeah. see Trying to figure it out. Our closing came like end of August. Right. Hold on, we'll get a snack after Yeah, we were okay. still a few months out from mm-hmm. closing and- Which we gave were... us time to pack, but we had already intended to live with his mom and dad because they live like five minutes from right. this house that we're in right now, the house that we're renovating and had purchased. So, this <laughs> 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 is like a weird thing to do. So we live just five minutes from it at his mom and dad's right now. And it was just a really nice setup. Our lifestyles are similar. We, you know, go to church together. We live pretty much on the same time slot. They get up earlier and we go to bed a little later. What are you doing? <laughs> But yeah, it worked out really nice. Nope, thing. coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Bless it. Where's my loving? Where is it? I love you. He never gets it. Brigadier, brigadier, brigadier. So we spent from August 
to October not having a home. We had sold our home. We had purchased this home. And like, we, we do have a home, but it's definitely not, like we can't live in it. There's no toilet. Um, there's a porta potty. We're getting close. We're getting close. There's no oven, no fridge, no cooking being done here. So anyway, it's not like a livable space right now. But we spent those two months in limbo, and people were starting to send us like property listings, <laughs> and, like, "Hey, you thought about this? Hey, you're crazy. Like, well, we're gonna give her her time. She has until you know this date. We're gonna give her until that." Um, yeah. you know, fades out because she was a little bit reluctant. Right, and she's older, right? It's harder to get motivated. To and it was a like lot this. of stuff to move. Yeah, there, there was a lot of stuff here that mm -hmm. she was dreading to move, so. But ended up signing a contract with her mm -hmm. around October the 10th. An official contract. Official contract. I guess we had like six, 60 days? I think it was 60 days. 45 to 60. Yep. We ended up closing the day before Thanksgiving. So the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we closed on this house felt so good and there were some items left on the property that we were still kind of dealing with and getting right. getting out of the property and going Store. through things and no there's no oh yeah there's garage. the garage we haven't touched the garage yet <clears throat> but everything else has been cleared out and then everything kind of stalled around Christmas uh, we got all of our storage unit moved back out here and then the renovation started in January it's currently March the 1st so it's a new month I have thought about that. Today is March the 1st, and to this point, this is the things that we have done. We've already completed these things. Yep. Go ahead. So, um, I guess the first thing that we did once everything was cleared is we started the HVAC. So, took out the whole furnace, and um, we we're upgrading to a heat pump. And so, luckily, my dad's he works for an HVAC company, um, so we were able to do all of that work on our own, on the install. Um, so we got everything ready, and we just didn't have it wired in because uh, we have to upgrade the electrical from 100 amp service to 200 amp service um, so that we could operate the heat pump. And so we left that as it was at that time, and then we went into our plumbing. Um, so we had a contractor who's doing a lot of our harder work, things that, you know, we typically wouldn't do. I mean, you wouldn't do as a DIY project. <laughs> so, um, came in and he started the plumbing, and then we also put in for the electrical upgrade at that time. So, he was gonna do the ditch for us, and lay the conduit, and then the power company will come and pull the, pull the wire to the pole and hook it up, which they've done now. So, mm -hmm. we've got the wiring, um, all the electrical is, is dealt with, the plumbing's dealt with, with the exception of our addition, and the heat pump is done with, except for the addition. So mm -hmm. once they um, get into the addition and lay the floor joists, we will run plumbing and our duct for the heat pump to that, and then those will be done. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, and so then after that, um, I guess they begin, the they job. took out the wall, <clears throat> in between yeah. the living room and the kitchen. I keep pointing because that's the general direction that I'm looking at in the house anyways. And so we they took did out all the, wall. the demolition ourselves. Yep, so we ripped out the Everything. kitchen, all the bathroom, um, basically all the seen. demo. Yeah, we'll, we've got videos for that. Right. Um, so we'll, we'll have those posted. But So we did all the demolition. They took out the wall between the kitchen and the living room and put the header beam in there, up in the attic. Mm -hmm. And then they... You know, ran all the new outlets for the kitchen. We're rearranging some things, and you know, everything in the kitchen is going to be new. So, did all of that, and then went back with drywalling. And so, they're as of today, they're finishing up the drywalling in um, the kitchen, some touch-up points, the bathroom. All of that is being finished tomorrow. I think the plan is to stomp the ceilings in the kitchen and the living room so that we can go in and paint. Um, it's almost time to paint. Yeah, it's, it's almost time to paint, which is crazy. So paint, we'll paint. start in so the kitchen. Exciting. We're going to paint the kitchen and have it ready to go. And then the plan is for the first of next week, maybe the flooring uh, people to come in, lay the floors in the kitchen, mm -hmm. stain them, and then our general contractor can come back in and set the cabinets in the kitchen. Which so, is crazy. Super so exciting. The dates we're looking forward to right now are April 26th. Our appliances are to be delivered that day and installed. 
April 27th, the granite company is coming to do our final measurements for our granite and then they will come back and put install the granite on I believe like the next day or within the next couple of days from that um, so we'll have a fully functioning kitchen and of course by that point the bathroom's not huge so the bathroom will yep. be done ready they're laying the tall the yeah. tall floors in the bathroom very soon as well That's and then the tub surround all of that's going to be tall at that point we can move in yep. because we'll have a kitchen in the bathroom and heat. Yeah, and, and we'll have painted by then, right? Mm -hmm. So once we paint the kitchen, we're moving to our bedrooms and we're gonna paint Go the ceilings, painting. the walls, all the trim work, trim. stuff like that we'll have done. So, so really hopefully by the time that they finish the floor set, the cabinets and the countertops, and then I think also coming soon are our windows, which yeah. is super exciting. Um, so once all that's done, hopefully everything's painted, ready to go in the house, and we can we can move into the house itself. Yes. So May the first. That's the that's goal. That's the goal. Yeah. That's what we're looking forward to. But we just wanted to give a little backstory yeah. on how we found the property, um, how it came about. Yeah, super um, exciting. If it had gone into the open market housing market, we wouldn't have got our hands on it because yeah. it would have right. gone too high. Yep. It was our personal history with the the property yeah owner. just who you know basically mm -hmm. is what it came down to it this one we knew difference. her and we have already bought the property from her right and, and then my I sister mean, brought uh, the section off of her as well and they built, and built a house. house so we just had that tie in luckily and, and we shouldn't fail to mention that we prayed a lot about this a lot, so a lot. this wasn't just like a, oh let's check this yeah. house out you know it was something we've been considering for years praying about yeah. for years and asking god if that was his will for us and then just following his lead. Mm -hmm. And it seems like everything Tommy. we do takes a leap of faith. Yep. So once we took that leap, you know, ow, that hurts. Don't pull. Don't, Don't pull, pull my hair. Oh, does it feel good? <laughs> yeah, but I mean. We just took that leap of faith and it all worked out. Yep. We just knew it was what God had for us. And sometimes it takes a leap of faith, right? So yeah, talking to people just around and you know, most people think we're crazy because it seems like everything that we do, we we take a leap of faith, but we you know, we feel like way. yeah, it, it seems like it. So we go through some fiery trials, you could say, but um, we just we feel like we know what God's will is for our lives, and that's what we want to do. Um, we knew that we wanted this property, and, and God's timing was perfect in it. So we just took the leap and trusted that. You know, that was what he wanted for us, and he worked it out, and he has so far. And It's not been easy, I mean, no. but with living, I mean, I guess we could talk really quickly about living with your parents. Oh, because it's, it's been great. It right? has been, because, okay, I mean, most people would look at that as just a really, like, awful situation, right. but it's been a real, real blessing. Eli's got to spend a lot of quality time with his grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. They've been really willing to help us and keep him. Right. That's been a huge deal. It's been huge because yeah. we'll come out here and it's like 20 degrees. Yeah. We had a lot of snow Winter, right? and cold spells and yeah. we needed to come out and work on and whatever. And things that you can't do with a two-year-old. Yeah, like I mean, demolition. Yeah. You can't take yes. tile down yeah. and sand, work a sander. It's not like you can wear earplugs right. the whole time for like two hours while I sand frames. Yeah. And work on electrical stuff. So, it's not ideal. you know, we've done our parts in it, and they've been really awesome to help. Easy and, to get along with. Oh yeah, I mean, very really easy. easy. And it's so. just been like treasured time with yeah. them. So, if you're looking at moving in with your parents or in-laws yeah, for like a renovation process, yeah, yeah, take a good perspective because it's time we'll never yeah. get back, and right. it's time that you're lucky to have with them. Right. Just extra time to spend. So it's been yeah. great, and of course. They're not charging us rent. They're right. not charging us water, money. electricity. It's always a plus. Yeah, and they've been really generous to share yep. the space with us and, you know, just share their home with us. They always will. Yep. But it's worked out really nicely. Um, you know, sometimes you feel like you're stuck. Not yeah. because of them. You just feel like no. nothing's moving forward. And it's and hard, too, oh, right? I mean, stuck. We've, got, we've got a room not. for Eli and a room for us. Yeah. And, you know, we share the... Everything we else, right? And but, spaces, um, but and that's after okay. you know, how long were we in our house together? We've had know. two homes. Yeah, so we've, been, we've married been married almost nine yeah, years. Yeah, almost nine years. So, so eight years. After eight years, yeah. You're together. not with anybody yeah. else, it's just you all. Yeah. And so that's the only difficult part. Yeah. 
it is hard. But, but you know, it's been really easy with them. There's no better uh, people yeah. to have lived with. Yeah, we've been blessed in that way. So it's been a really fortunate time, and they're close to the house, like we said. And we can so, save a lot of money yeah. to put toward yeah. the house. So that's been really, it's really cool. It's a no-brainer. Well, that's um, kind of been our journey through this yeah. process. It's, it's, it's been three years in the making. We just we wait really long time for everything we want in life. Seems like, we just yeah. like to wait. Apparently, that's our thing. <laughs> But we are going to end the video here, and um, it was great to share our little story yep. of our and home. And check out all of our other videos that we've got posted. Yeah, because those are going to be there. see the process and everything that's going on and bring you up to speed. So, Very cool. exciting. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you Bye. All. Bye. Yeah. Not easy, is it? <laughs> Transition. <laughs> Come on, get it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Alright, so let's wrap this because nobody was actually ready. <laughs> <laughs>